So on today's video, we're gonna be drilling in some holes on the video series, how to build your food truck with Frank Valtieres. We're getting the whole saw ready because we're gonna be drilling the holes for the RV fill tank, the zero gravity fill tank. This is what you use. It's one of the options to use to uh, fill your fresh water tank on your new food truck, your new food trailer. Every day, little by little, we're making progress because it is cold out here in Chicago, which is I'm where I'm located with my food truck, rolling burritos food truck. <sighs> Look at this, chili chili. So every day we try to do a little bit more, that way we share what we're doing exactly. But today, we're gonna be drilling a hole right in here somewhere, that way we connect this tube right here, this one and a quarter inch flex house. That's what they call it, flex house. It's actually a food grade uh, hose that they give you from where I bought these tanks, which is Class A Customs. And we're gonna be cutting the hole right in here. That way, where we get some gravity. They call this, uh, like a, um, what do you call it? Non-pressurized uh, gravity fill RV tank. Spigot, I think that's what it's called. So look it up. Uh, it's on, uh, this one I got from Class A Customs, but I'm gonna look on Amazon to see if I find it because my food truck on mine has a little bit different one. I'm gonna show you guys how that looks. But for now, we're gonna cut a hole right here with this hole saw. What size is this? Let me look. If you guys can see there, this is a three and five eighths hole saw. This is what I used with my food truck when I cut it, so I just kept it along uh, because I said eventually I'm gonna use it again. And look at that, we use it again because we're building this new seven by 16 trailer. And to be honest, it's almost done. Uh, so I'm gonna probably put up for sale next week. I'm gonna start putting the, like the pictures and all that fun stuff. We're gonna do a for sale post on this food truck. The only thing we have left is the gas that's gonna pop out right through there. And then, uh, you know, fire extinguishers, those are easy to get, so nothing too crazy about that, but the plumbing's done and on this side, we're just gonna get the stainless steel tables, which I already bought. On this side right here, we're gonna put the stainless steel tables, which I already bought. The reason that I have not put stainless steel on this back wall is because I'm gonna lower it down and I'm gonna be walking on it and I'm gonna be bringing in all the tables right here. So I didn't wanna scratch it up more than uh, it will down the road. So whoever purchases this, purchases this <laughs> this food truck we'll get a nice clean sheet of stainless steel right there that top part's going to come off and we're just going to put this really nice and neat so next week we're going to be putting this up for sale some nice pictures on there but for now let's finish up this part of the tank and then we're going to vent it with these little half inch pieces right there and that gets connected to this side on the rv fill uh, tank valve that we have here Oh, by the way, we did receive the, we did receive this right here. Right here, we received this yesterday, the Valterra one and a half inch gate valve. And that's what's gonna be used for um, dumping out the tank. So we have two of them. And then that's the little piece that goes on the front where you can hook up a hose. And that way you can dump it out at your commissary. And then we're gonna do another video of what a commissary is, how I have mine set up and uh, different options on how you can get creative on how to get a commissary. So let's get cutting because we got the whole saw ready and it's getting cold out here and I wanna get in and out as fast as I can. So let's get on this, building your food truck with Frank Baltieres. Alrighty, so this is how that valve should look when it's all said and done. This is the one that I bought for mine. I bought it white because my trailer was white. This one is ba made by Valterra. Uh, this one, I'm going to see if I find it on Amazon and link it for you guys there so you guys can purchase. And then all you do is you put your hose in there and then you fill your tank. And that goes right into the fresh water tank. And it has worked wonderful for us here at Rolling Burritos uh, Food Truck. So that, it just wanted to show you how it looks on mine. You just have to drill the hole and there you go. One thing that you do, do want to make sure when you get the hole saw is that you have a nice pilot bit on there. A pilot bit is something that starts off the drill. That way this uh, hole saw is not skipping all over the place. So we're gonna drill it right around there. Just kind of a guesstimate. And then that pilot hole is gonna go in first. Right there, if you guys can see the pilot hole is gonna go in first. Come on, zoom in. There it is. And then that's gonna start us off. And then we're just gonna finish off with the hole saw. 
you just hold the drill really nice and tight that way the teeth on here don't skip around and you scratch your paint on there so that's what's going to happen right there i actually try to do it right here where that dent is i bought it used so you know anything can happen when uh, you buy a used trailer so i bought this cargo mate used trailer and that's about one of the only things that it had but it's all right so we're going to drill right there that one was a little bit too low to drill to get the angle that i wanted so there we go we're getting ready so don't forget that you only get one shot at drilling this hole without messing up the exterior of your trailer so make sure you measure everything from the outside as well as the inside make sure that you don't hit any studs in between your trailer there between your walls um, and make sure that you get enough of an angle down into your fresh water tank that gravity can do its work that's why it's called a gravity fill valve so we're gonna cut it and like I said make sure that uh, you're not hitting any of your pex lines that you have back there so measure twice cut once so let's get to it These holes all, hole saws are so nice because they make a nice clean cut. That way, let me show you guys. It's getting slippery right there. So right here, uh, I have a stud that runs right in between here on my trailer. So I just have to come over just the hair. So with this, this is gonna fit. How is the angle like this? It is gonna fit just like that in through the trailer on the other side. Uh, what I did with my trailer is I just cut enough of a hole right here. I guess I could cut the entire thing uh, of the food, of the truck to fit this to the outside. But on mine, I didn't do it like that. I ran it just a little bit different. I don't know if I'm going to do it the same way. So let's just kind of run through it together and then we'll figure it out. But at the end, we got our hole cut on the outside. Make sure that you do it nice and slow. That way you don't mess up the finish of your truck or your trailer. So. There's the outside hole cut for the zero, uh, for the gravity fill valve for your fresh water tank. This is what I meant when I say I didn't cut the full uh, hole, the three and a half inch hole from the hole saw on the outside, from the inside to the, from the outside to the inside. I just cut like the little holes like this, as you guys can see. Will I do it that way? I don't know yet. Let me figure out what's the best way to run it, but this hasn't given me any issues, so we might do it the exact same way. So we're back to finish up what we started which was uh, cutting out the outside of the trailer to connect this fill hose drain to the fresh water tank using this uh, gravity fill valve that goes right on the outside of the trailer that we cut let me show you guys so you can get a quick recap here it is on the outside and how it looks so right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill the inside so we can get this hose to connect the fill tank right inside. So what I'm gonna do, because I do not wanna drill this big old hole in there, uh, I'm gonna change it up and I'm gonna use this hole saw right here. It's a little bit smaller. So what I'm gonna do is just cut so it can fit the inside. And then on the outside right here, what I'm gonna use in the electrical world, we call this a step bit. So I'm gonna use this to kinda just shave off the top that way we don't get a big old hole inside the trailer which would be right in here and that way it looks a little bit more clean and professional so you guys can have a really really nice looking truck and not a lot of holes and it looks all jagged and you guys get some good quality so let's change the unit sorry the hole saws from this one to this one all right so there it is we Put the new hole saw in there. It's just a quick taking off and on of the other one. Sometimes you do need some channel locks just to grab the outside because they can get a little bit uh, tight in there. So let's cut this one now. And that way we have exactly what we need to finish the connection for that fill tank hose for the fresh water tank. All right, let me grab my drill. And this one's gonna be just the same way. Ah, it's slippery. It's still icy out here in Chicago. 
We're gonna cut right in here. Right in the center. And this should come out on the other side in, uh, with the stainless steel. Might have already touched there. almost through if you guys want to get a closer look right in here we're almost through to the inside of the trailer of the truck there it is right there it might be hot so watch out all right so with this let's go inside and see how it looks all right I'm gonna go to the other side I told you where the little half inch one is gonna go right in there I'm gonna have to cut just that but that's how it's gonna go actually not too bad all right so let me do my work here but I just wanted you guys to see how it's gonna look coming right inside the food truck and then this hose is gonna get connected right in there so that's kind of the step-by-step -step on how to build your food truck so let's finish up this little spot because it's chilly out here. I'm going to take you a little closer. I'm going to hold the phone on the outside right here. I have my hand. So if you see inside the hole, see if you guys can see it a little bit clearer. There is the vent, a little half inch right in there. So that's the part that we're just going to have to trim with the step bit. It's not much like you guys can see, but it's just enough. But at least we don't have a big old hole like the outside and it looks a little bit cleaner. So that's what we're gonna do there. So I found a better solution because I actually was gonna use these uh, clamps right here to connect the air hose that goes on there, a half inch air hose. Um, but I was like, you know what? Why not use the little PEX crimp rings on there? So we're gonna try that out, see if that works. I think it's gonna be a better connection, a better fit. And uh, it might work a little bit better. So let's try this out and let's crimp this together and let's see if it actually is successful. I'm a pretty slow, uh, crimper guy, so I had to get it adjusted first before I put it on. All right, so now it clicked in there. So now let's take it off and see if it actually grabbed. Look at that, it did. Dang, that's nice. Because uh, at least we don't have that little, um, I don't know what you call this, a little wiggly, the little tail on there. So this works really, really nice. All right, so now we move on to the front and let's actually connect this. So there, ah, where are you? There you are. So there's a hole that we're gonna be using. Let's go to the other side. And then let's stick this through, so to speak. And that way you guys can see how it looks.
On my side over there, on the outside, it is nice and plumb. In here, let's see. It's squeaky because uh, it is snowy outside still. There we go. That should be good. All right, perfect. Now let's connect the drain fill hose on there and then we'll connect to the outside and then we're pretty much done with this part, which feels really cool to be done with. And then now we're just gonna be working on the gas and then we're putting it up for sale next week. So let's finish this up really quick. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the comments. Uh, don't forget to share and uh, comment if you have any questions. I do, a lot of your messages go to spam when you guys send me on Facebook. That's what I've been noticing. So make sure that uh, you send me an email if you guys can, rolling burritos food truck at gmail.com. All right, so what we're doing here is just taking like a guesstimate of the length. So down here, we're just giving it like a little wrap around. That way we just get some extras, which is still be nice because it'll still fill up the tank. And then up here, we're just gonna make sure that we get enough to cut back there. Because once you cut this one, that's it. You cut it. All right, so we'll give it a couple more rings right there. So we're gonna cut it right there. Now I'm gonna run out to the outside. I'm gonna put this through. I'm gonna put this through right there. And then I'm gonna connect it on the outside uh, using the clamps. And then uh, we're gonna push it right back in. So let's follow me outside and we'll finish that up. All right, so we're outside now. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and then connect it to here. Oh, dummy. <laughs> We got to put this in first. So that's your um, hose clamp on there. We got to put that in first or else you got nothing, nothing to grab to. So let's do that really quick. I'm going to pause it just so you guys don't get bored of watching me do this. And you know what? Let's just go with it. Alrighty. So like I said, get everything from class a customs because they have been really really good in everything that they all right there's that There you are, you give it a nice twist, and then we put it back inside. Where are you? Like so. We might actually have to twist this around, this, this screw that's inside, so hold on real quick. All right, so before it gets even darker outside, if you guys can even see this, um, what I did differently is if you guys can see the clamp, the screw, I put that right in the middle. That way it fits through the smaller hole that we made. If it was a bigger hole, then it wouldn't really matter. But since I was trying to keep everything compact, that's how we did it. So now we're just gonna put in some screws temporarily. That way you guys can see it all complete. And uh, I wanna get some black screws. I'm gonna put some white ones in right now, just so you, we can have it done. And then uh, we're just gonna get some black screws on here, inch and a half, that way it gets a little bit of the plywood and uh, we get a nice secure connection. So let's connect that and then we're done with the fill tank. And this is how it's gonna look inside. You guys follow me? This is just the air valve. Uh, that's how it looks. We got the fill tank right there and it feeds right into the fresh water tank that we had connected originally. So that's how it's gonna look. It has a nice downhill that way it connects right in so we should be good on that so let's finish up and we're done with the fill tank i guess the day beat me today i had to do uh an electrical job we we're doing a kitchen remodel uh but here it is actually i didn't have to put any screws on there if you guys can see it's a little bit dark out let me see if i can lighten up the phone here not really um but it's nice and snug there that's how it's gonna look and then this is a cap that just gets right there Right now there's no screws in there. I'm just gonna order the black ones. So I'm not gonna drill anything right now, but 
it stayed in there nice what i ended up doing is i cut a little bit more off the hose because it seemed like over here was hanging just a little bit right there so i cut that off uh two of these little rungs and we made it a little bit more um I guess tighter if that's the right word so now we just got to connect this to the half inch uh, valve right there and then it has another one right up top that I have to add right there so that's how it's gonna end up looking thank you for watching the video hopefully everything that I explained made sense uh, that's how we connect the drains sorry the fill tank for the fresh water tank and then the drains are down there but that's the fill hose for the fresh water tank class a customs um undermount these are the undermounts because they have a lip right there so thanks again for watching for subscribing for commenting for all the wonderful messages you guys sent i'm frank baltiers with the diy series how to build your food truck and we're on the last legs of the build and the question is what's next so I might have a little bit of a surprise I've been thinking about. So, um, and we're gonna start it again from scratch and maybe something a little bit different out of my comfort zone, but I'm up for the challenge. And I hope you guys are too with the videos here that we're producing and making for you guys. And uh, hopefully you enjoy and it's of value. So thank you very much, Frank Baltiers. We'll see you on the next video.